are literally casting shadows perfect entrance for would you rather for this week <laughs> as we're going to talk about that in a hot second you don't have to this stare is, at it's a very pertinent <laughs> topic very pertinent all right billy and like right. us today's would you rather is going to revolve around the size of your t-shirt would you rather for the rest of your life be wearing a t-shirt that is a size too small or a size too large Nick has clearly made his decision. <laughs> he loves them small <laughs> t-shirts. Um, I love the sport play shirts. Great but shirt. for great the shirt. rest of you know, they make those in <laughs> men's hey, sizes he, as well. He, in, his, he, in his defense. He made them. Yeah, yeah. In his defense, he didn't pick the size. Yeah. <laughs> I did ask what size, though. So, so okay. It's fine. It's, we're all good. So, we're all right, all so you're saying here. t-shirt. So that means... Normal t-shirt. Just t-shirts, like, like graphic tees. T-shirt, like, okay. yeah. Like Not wearing. like a flannel or... A long sleeve t-shirt, I guess, would go. But if once you start getting buttons, more than... More than two buttons. If you have a full <laughs> button down, it's not a t-shirt. Okay, anymore. so we got polos, long sleeves. Polos, long sleeves, regular t-shirts, <laughs> athletic wear. Yeah, <laughs> so I would... Yeah, because that automatically... It's hard to have a tight shirt with three buttons. In my opinion. I can't speak to that. <laughs> so my mind immediately jumps because I wear polos basically every day to work. And I don't know if I want to look like an idiot, <laughs> like too tight you look like a polo or like sausage. this <laughs> reckless mess <laughs> too much. But I feel like you look like a bigger mess with a shirt too big. I would have to agree. Right? Mm. Well, that's what I was saying. I was going to say I'd rather have a shirt too big just for comfort reasons. But at the same time, if you needed... To like look presentable. You're never, you're never I mean, gonna look in a t-shirt. You can tuck it in, but then your arms are like. Here's one thing you do have to consider: is the sweat factor. If you're wearing a tight t-shirt Fuck. to a bar yeah. or wherever, you're gonna have some <laughs> gnarly pit stains. <laughs> if you're wearing a skin tight t-shirt and you're Just in for some clear coat on your armpits. Well, here's here's the thing. <laughs> I was be leaning towards black t-shirts. I was leaning towards tight till you said that. But all I do is sweat. But I don't I have do pit sweat. stains, which I'm thankful for right. in this world. So I just never blessing. sweat Huge out the pit. pit stain guy. No. Likewise. But all my white tees are ruined. Yeah, I can only wear white tees <laughs> yeah. for a certain amount of time before I have to move on to the next one. Yep. You don't have that problem, do you? Yeah. I've actually had prescription deodorant. To try and... And it worked, but then that. I stopped taking it. So I'm, I'm that guy that takes medicine, and then once it starts to work and whatever I have <laughs> fades away, I stop. So then it comes back. <laughs> So With now a I'm sitting in a meeting today, and I'm not wearing my jacket. That's where I wear my jacket half the time. Yeah. And I'm like, wow, I'm really sweating, and I don't wear an undershirt under my regular shirt. Oh, no. And I was like, I'm really sweating right now. I hope no one can see until this meeting is over, and I can get my jacket so no mm-hmm. one can see. And I can move my arms freely I just, again. I can't stand that shit, because I go from sweating profusely to negative 45 <laughs> degrees. I blame my thyroid, thyroid. for that. <laughs> but that might just be a You're scapegoat. probably a woman. Could be. You don't know. <laughs> um, but I don't know. I, I I'm not a huge big shirt. If I have a shirt that's too big, I won't wear it. Like I'm I'm you just won't. Oh, I just won't wear it. I won't wear it even if it costs thirty bucks and it's too big. I'll bring it back, or if I can't bring it back, I just will give it to someone else or not See, wear it. I'm I'm the opposite. I'm much more comfortable wearing stuff that's like a little bit Longer. too big than too small. Mm-hmm. Too small, like. It, I'm so Feel uncomfortable. Constricted. Yeah. I like the perfect fit, obviously. Well, yeah. <laughs> but but I could I could live with bigger rather than smaller. But my new pet peeve <laughs> is like if I stretch out a t-shirt or something accidentally and everything fits perfect, but this is fucked up. Like you yeah. know how you stretch this out and then it's like flopping yeah. down. Bacon, I feel like I look so neck. fucking stupid. Yeah, I can't do it. Um, and I feel like the big shirt's always yeah. gonna be like that a little bit. Yeah, so I I'd probably have to lean towards small shirt just because. You, they would stretch a little bit. So, like, if I had to wear a medium, and that's just medium across the board. Some shirts run bigger, and that I guess that yeah, goes yeah. for uh, bigger shirts as well. Some, some run bigger, some run smaller, some stretch. So, like, you could probably stretch it out, and you, if you do some bicep curls or something, you might look swole. Yeah. <laughs> it could so. make you look good. I mean, you could also suck in, too, to give yourself a little extra. Oh, yeah, mm, yeah if, if, you if you're wearing it. that, you, you got to, like, wear a girl. Be hit the gym or wear it. I always wear a girl. Yeah, well, wear a girdle. That's one of the points <laughs> I was. Gonna, I, I haven't really said too much yet. That's 
the th- number one thing that was on my mind. My decision is based on what my body type is going to be. Yeah, because if you're looking like a slob, you're going to want to go with the big the one. The big shirt, exactly. Mm-hmm. But if I'm like, you know, at my current state or I get more physically fit, then I'm more than What are you trying to say about my physical? <laughs> I'm not saying yeah. anything about you. You looked me dead in the eyes when you said it. You, you're easy to look at. You're easy on <laughs> Thank the you. eyes. Thank you. How's that? Me and Brandon actually had a workout Twitter convo not too long ago. We did. He said... How come working out hurts so much, but it feels so good? Yeah, it does something good. along those lines. I was very endorphins, and I responded. He did. He gave some and very, some, ins- very good insight. I think some weird guy from Beachbody responded to, but I didn't answer him. <laughs> <laughs> was it Sean T? No, it wasn't. Sean, I would have been so amazed. Sean T's a Rowan grad. Is he really? Yeah, Rowan wow. grad. Thank you, Sean T. So I'm gonna have to just say. I'll just move to Miami and just become like a sweaty person wearing giddy tees all the time. <laughs> just not even deal with these what? shirts. We'll see what the, what what the I'm saying. T-shirt, so it can't be a tank top because tank top you just go too small and you don't have to, the whole sweating what issue. If I is, just decide to not wear a t-shirt ever again, <laughs> then no, this conversation me. wouldn't really apply. <laughs> and you probably wouldn't have a job unless you worked at Abercrombie. Yeah, in the mall. See the thing about or the I could be like a some, lifeguard. Yeah, just like some surf instructor, but I don't even know how to surf, so I'll just uh, scan well, I'll get you. Yeah, just, yeah, but the tight tee you could wear shit over it, so you yeah, can get away with I it. Said, I was going to live in Miami, so I could just be sure that's year it. Around. Yeah. The thing is, even though when this you wear work like that. when you wear a t-shirt that's really tight, I mean, you feel the uncomfort. Yeah. yeah. yeah if it's you feel tight, like restricted definitely. in your movement. I'm going to have to go arms. with a uh, big shirt. Okay, I respect that. I'm going to stick with tight because I think it's also cool. an extra motivation to not let myself get too obese. Also, <laughs> I'm also just picturing the person that's cursed with this. Like, <laughs> it's not like literally like they have to buy like a shirt too big or a shirt too small. Like they're literally cursed. Like they go to the store, they put it on, yeah. it looks fine, they get home and it's too big. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's even more aggravating I than think just yeah. knowing it's going to be short. I had a feeling tight. which one Nick was going to choose. So I don't like s- that at all. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited. I, I figured Mike would go big. I am excited to hear what Brandon well, he, thinks. Well, this is the tough part because, one, I wear T-shirts all year round. Exactly. This affects and, you directly. And sweatshirts. Affects me directly. Like on top of it. Mainly because I can't buy long sleeve shirts because my arms are too fucking long. <laughs> like I'm an extra large <laughs> year capris. and a large year. So nothing ever fits right. Yeah. You should just get two of the same shirts and then cut them off and sew them together. <laughs> Too much work. <laughs> Martha Stewart homemaker yeah. over here. Suspicion. So I wear t-shirts all the time, but I can't look like a fucking... I don't know what... I'll look like a bigger ass hat and a. Yeah, but then I got this thing that's going to be constricted in a tight t-shirt. Well, you can change that. You just can't change the shirts. Yeah, exactly. That's why I got to go skinny. I guess it's motivation, motivation to cut the gut, as one might say. I think I would have to join that boat and go small as well. <laughs> um, so, just because if I feel like when I'm wearing a big shirt, I feel like I'm swimming inside of a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not like a desirable feeling. At least if you're wearing a tight shirt, yeah, I'm going to have some serious pit stains at all points in time. Like shirt comes on 10 minutes later, just pit stains. Pit stain. Done. Right. It's already a thing. But I would have to just learn to deal with it or get the medication for it again. Yeah. Yeah. So I would go with small. Yeah, not as big sweater. I get the back sweat. That's it. But oh, the pits, I, I sweat I'm fine. It, yeah. A little bit. Yeah, yeah. You got a little bit. But that's really not bad. Yeah. That's a little not touch. A little bit. I remember Nick used to walk oh, across the is. gym. Nick used to walk across the gym <laughs> in middle school and he'd be uh, oh my gosh. dripping and sweat. I was a mess. I was a literal mess. Especially Nick, during puberty. When puberty for you was in like second grade. <laughs> I had armpit hair before I knew how to read. <laughs> It was so. <laughs> we were at a pool party. And I was like, dude, what the hell is that under your arm? <laughs> Fucking caterpillar. He's like, what are you, a bear? My favorite was Nick was always the first one if we had to do shirts or skins. First motherfucker oh, yeah. to be skins. So Absolutely. no one would touch him when he was soaking wet. Oh, my. Remember I we used to play basketball at the. Yep. Uh, I don't know if you ever played, Mike, but I, don't, I think you might have played. I played a lot. We used lot. to play basketball at the rec center. After like, school on Fridays. Dreams. After school on Fridays, and the losers would have to take their shirts off after and. Stand there, oh, and everyone they would, on hug, the they would team. hug the hoop, and then the other team would get the dodgeball oh and just get gosh. chances to rip them in the back. No one would get more angry playing that, that game than Nick. Yep, that's fair as well. Nick would almost fight someone every game. Nick actually, one time I was watching a show, and I want to add this in here at the end. Nick said he was a very peaceful guy, and he's only been mad once in his life. Yes. Not true. Defense Nick is a Nick. Nick is a fraud. <laughs> one time, and I played high school baseball, and Nick ran high school track, and the high school. We have the team room for baseball. Let's see if I don't Nick remember remembers this. this. I, I'm trying I know, to remember. You were blinded in a fit of rage, most likely. So what happened was Nick was taking a shit. 
<laughs> oh yeah, I remember this. Okay, yes, I was mad in that moment. You're and right. I was that like, was number two. this would be funny. That to... was you. Yes, it was me. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot. I forgot who did that. This you almost awesome. fought me. Yeah, I forgot who did that. I just remember I came out screaming and like so looking I go, to kill someone. I so I was like, was why Billy. is Nick in the locker room? Because this is the baseball locker room, and Nick r- runs track. Let's mess with him a little bit because we're buds. We're friends. So <laughs> so, I'm like, something like that. No harm, no foul. I take a cooler full of ice and dump it over the, the thing <laughs> onto his head while he's <laughs> while he's uh, taking a number two. And Nick finished his his deuce, came out. And probably tried to fight me in the middle of the team room in front of everyone. Oh awesome. my gosh! Luck- luckily, I defused the situation before I got beat up. The but ice didn't cool you off enough. No, I it actually made it hotter. You know, you want to know how I remember that story? <laughs> I swear to God, it was during football season. False. First of all, this, no, this is what my I remember. I believe you. <laughs> I totally believe you. But this is what I remember that story being. I remember it was football season, and a freshman thought it was another freshman. And threw ice over. I think that happened I, too. I think I, that maybe, happened maybe that too. did happen. All right, so maybe that, maybe that did happen. I don't remember. So I don't remember times. being you. <laughs> this happened. I don't no, think there's that's a third. Amazing. I don't remember a third. It might have just been the two times. I know for a fact I did that. I mean, it was me and Jesse. I swear to God, I don't remember. It was me and a, a, a kid named Jesse. I don't know if we're not allowed to name drop on the Fro? show. Jesse, uh, last yeah. uh, Minning and foe. Yes. Uh oh. Wait, what? No, no, wrong. No, no, no. no, no, no. Yeah, no yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 I got yeah. the letters mixed up. I can't oh read. my god, I don't remember that. I swear to God, I don't remember. It that. happened. So uh, I was moral I must story, have been so blinded by rage. Moral of the story is Nick's a fraud. Nick said he never gets mad, and uh, he almost tried to kill me in front of my peers one time. <laughs> did I? Did I touch you though? Yes. All right. <laughs> well, well, shut I, down. Uh, I rest so. my case. <laughs> Going with the motivation that you said with the small shirt, you're going to exercise. Yes. Motivation for the big shirt, I would either just have to become a rapper or a pro skateboarder. There you go. Yeah, because even if you got bigger, the shirt would have to, like, it's a Grow size you. big or yeah. small. Yeah. The, the shirt grows with you. But, yeah, if I if I just You'd be a, rapper, a rap yeah. artist or a pro skateboarder, then I just look Doesn't normal. matter, yeah. Just I could see you as one of those, and I could not fucking see you as the other. <laughs> Hello. Or a skateboarder. Yeah, yeah I'll that. say no to the rapping. <laughs> 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 all right, so I'm like, you're the one lone on Team Big Shirt, yeah. and we're all Team Tiny Shirt. Nick Slayer, you live in that life? Not by choice, entirely. Oh. What the fuck is that? Noises. <laughs> we have a presence. All righty, then. Thank you guys for watching a Would You Rather Wednesday at YouTube.com slash 4 video. Subscribe to the channel, and we Do will it. be back with Do You Know Should You Know shortly. Thank you guys for watching or listening. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash foreplay video. If you like what we're doing, make sure to smash that like button. Be sure to share all our videos with your friends so we can uh, continue to grow. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.